Want to set up a shout out command for your Twitch channel and streamer bot? I'll show you how in a few quick steps. We'll learn a bit about some of the available user variables and put together a simple command that you and your mods can use. We'll also discuss some more advanced options that you could use to make your shoutouts more fun. Hi friends, I'm Flair. I'm a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash Flair, and I make guides here on YouTube to help other streamers learn to use some fun streamer tech. Today we're talking about shoutout commands. Most streamers have them. I do and forget to use it constantly, but my mods fill the gap pretty well, and my bot handles it pretty well too. The gist of a shoutout command is that someone comes into your stream and you want to call attention to them, so you do an exclamation SO in chat, and then your bot will say something like, hey everyone, go check out this person. Here's a link to their channel. We'll get into exactly how to set this up a little bit later in the video. We'll also add some extra bells and whistles at the end to make it a bit more than just a chat command. I've got time codes set up, so if you want to jump to a particular section, feel free. If you're new to Streamerbot and need some help getting started, I have an intro video that runs through all the steps from downloading and installing to connecting to Twitch and creating basic commands. I'll add a link to it in the description. For now, jump down to the comments and let me know what the best shoutout command you've ever seen did, and I'll let you know how to do that in Streamerbot. The first thing we need to figure out is what we want our shoutout command to do. I like to start simple, so let's start with having our shoutout command send a message to chat with a link to the user's channel and what game they played most recently. This is the use case I see most commonly. To do this, we're going to want to add a new action. In the Actions tab, right click and select Add. Give the action a name and click OK. Under Sub Actions, the first thing we want to do is get the info from the person that was shouted out. To do this, we want to right click, choose Add Sub Action, Twitch, Get User Info from Target. In the box that appears, we want to choose From Input for the source type. This will automatically populate a whole bunch of variables about the user. We can review these variables in StreamerBot Wiki and see that we now can access things like the user's channel description, the profile image, whether they're affiliate or partner, whether or not they're a subscriber to your channel, their most recent game category, and more. Now that we have the user info available to us, we can go ahead and send a message to the channel. Right click, select Add Sub Action, Twitch, send message to channel. In the box that appears, we can now type our message. For now, we'll keep it simple and say, go show some love to target user. They were last seen streaming game at twitch.tv slash target user. Click OK and we're done. Now we just got to set up the command itself. For this, we want to go to the commands tab, right click and choose add. In the box that pops up, put exclamation SO in the command box and then choose the action we just created in the action box. We'll also want to add a slight cooldown to this just in case one of your mods gets a little shout out happy. To do this, we can increase the global cooldown value to something like 30 seconds. You'll see there's a box that says cooldown where you can specify an action that runs when the cooldown is triggered, but we're not gonna get into that right now. The other thing we wanna add to this command is some restrictions on who can use it. Over in the right side of this panel, you can see the list of available groups, and you can move one or more of these over to the allowed box to make it so that only those types of users can use this command. I personally restrict my shout out to mods and VIPs. Now click OK and we're ready to test. Now we'll just take a look at chat here in OBS and see it working live. I'll just shout out my favorite streamer bot enthusiast, Nutty. In, in the chat, you'll see the bot respond with the link just as expected. I want to take a second to thank you for watching. If this video has been useful to you at all, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to my channel, and say hi in the comments. It helps me out immensely and it's free. Okay, so that's the baseline shout out command, but let's add some extra flair to it, pun distinctly intended. Let's pull the target's profile picture and show it in our overlay when the shoutout command is run too. For this to work, we're going to need a couple things set up. If you watched my streamer bot setup video, you'll have connected the bot to OBS already. If you haven't, check it out in the description below and then come back. You'll also want to have the OBS shader filter plugin set up that we went through in a previous video as well. That link will also be in the description. Got that all set up already? Then let's get to work. First, we're going to want to create a new browser source in OBS and call it Twitch Profile. Depending on how big your overlay canvas is, you'll want to make this bigger or smaller, but for now, set it to 300 by 300 and position it where you want the user's profile picture to appear. Don't worry about the default placeholder image for now, we'll sort that out later. Now we'll right click that source and choose filters. Click the plus under effect filters and choose our user defined shader. Name this filter pulse. Now since we're using an effect filter, the order you do things here really matters, otherwise OBS can crash. I went through this in the OBS shader filter video as well, but it bears repeating. These effect filters can be touchy. Click load shader from text file, click browse, and choose the pulse.effect file, and only then click the use effect file checkbox. Now close the filter window to save these choices, and then reopen it so we can configure it further. It's a little touchy, but you'll get it. Feel free to play with these values to your liking, but I went with 10 speed, five minimum growth pixels, and 20 max growth pixels. Close this again and now toggle this filter to be hidden by clicking the little eye. 
Let's add one more filter the same way. Click the plus, choose user defined shader again, and call this one rounded rectangle. Now, click load shader from text file, and then choose rounded rect.shader. No need to click the effect checkbox this time because we're using a shader filter. I chose a corner radius of 16, but you can play with it until you like it. You can leave this filter visible. Last thing we want to do in OBS is go back into the properties for this source and delete the URL so it's just blank, and then click OK. Then click the eye next to the Twitch profile source to hide it. Now, back in StreamerBot, we want to reopen our shoutout action and add the logic that will pull this user's profile image into that browser source, show the source, turn on the pulse filter, delay for 10 seconds, or then turn off the pulse filter and hide the source again. I'm going to go through this quick, so feel free to pause and rewind if you need it. I'll also create an export of this action, so you can just use that if you want. If you don't know how to import and export actions and commands from StreamerBot, you can check the video I made about that in the description. Under your message output, add an OBS set browser source source URL sub action. Choose the Twitch profile source and use target user profile image URL as the source. Next, add an OBS source visibility state sub action and set the profile source to visible. Then, add an OBS source filter state sub action and set the pulse filter to visible. Add a delay for 10,000 milliseconds. Now duplicate the pulse filter sub action and edit it to set the filter to hidden. Finally, duplicate the source visibility sub action and set the source to hidden. Now we're done. Now you can run that command again and see the shoutout command make nutty bounce. Hopefully you can now take what you learned here and build your own shoutout command. There's so much more that can be done to enhance these commands with the information available about the target user too. You could pull their channel description into your message, you could spit out different messages based on whether or not the user subscribes, play a recent clip from the user, and so much more. Let me know what kind of thing you'd like to do with the shoutout command and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. I stream on Sunday and Monday nights on Twitch and I'm always down to talk about StreamerBot, so come stop by and ask me your questions. I'll help you figure out a way to make your idea happen. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out some of my other videos for deep dives into some other cool things you can do with StreamerBot, and as always, remember to spread love, not hate.